Welcome back to the Successful Diligence Podcast. I wanted to make sure that you were aware of how valuable you are to us and me here at Successful Diligence as a listener of the podcast. It means so much that you allow me to provide value through the podcast and that you listen and you show up and you invest your time. It means the world to me and I so appreciate it. One way that you can show your appreciation for the podcast, if you've gotten any value from anything we've ever said um, in Sode, is you can support us financially so that we can continue to provide the value that you've come to know from the Successful Diligence podcast. And it can be literally less than a cup of coffee a day, 99 cents per month. That's less than a dollar per month, all the way up to five, ten dollars, however much you want to give. But as little as a dollar, less than a dollar, 99 cents, that would make such a difference to us. You can go to the show notes and you can click the link where listener support is highlighted. Um, There's different links in the show notes. Or you can go to anchor.fm backslash successful diligence backslash support and you can sign up there and literally it's one time per month 99 cents less than a cup of coffee and yet you would be having an impact on supporting this podcast to bring more value reach more people to have a greater impact in the world and we appreciate in advance any support that you're able to provide again anchor.fm slash successful diligence slash support or you can click the link in the show notes and show your support financially we appreciate it and we thank you in advance today i want to talk about a really powerful concept and I want to share it by uh, we'll talk about it (laughs) um, by sharing two things um, that are really important to me that I think you'll find value in and uh, benefit from. And the first thing that I want to share is sort of a little peek, a little insight into how I define success for me and for my life. And it comes from a quote that I actually have on like a little card that I put into this little frame. It's a really pretty frame. And I have had this quote on every single desk that I have ever had in the workplace. So ever since I entered the world of work, like professionally, so after I graduated um, from Columbia, my first job is when I first started putting this on my desk. I was about, what, 20, 21 uh, years old. And every single job that I have held since then, so for the last 26 years or so, I have had this quote on every single desk at every single job. And I recently, since Successful Diligence has been um, growing (laughs) and I'm working to uh, build that business, I have it at on my uh, desk in my home office. And the quote is, is titled, Success. And it's sort of like my definition for myself and it incorporates sort of how I view success for me. And it says success, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. And that really um, has driven my life um, in terms of focus and pursuit and defining success for me over the years. And, you know, I encourage you to 
really think about what success is for you. How will you know when you reach success? How will you know that you have achieved success in your life for you? What is your definition? And over the years, it may change depending on where you are as a person and who you are as a person. And that's okay. You don't have to have a quote like me that follows you for 20 years, but find something that anchors you and roots you as sort of like a guide as you walk this journey of life and become the best version of yourself and who you're going to be and who you want to be. Have a, it, It's sort of like casting a vision um, and defining, not so much a mission statement, but sort of having like that vision, that long-term idea and concept about if I am successful, what does that look like? And how am I interacting with the world and other people? And I encourage you to really reflect on that. And um, if you journal, do some journaling, meditate, pray, however you sort of go inward and get insight, but listen to what comes up as you think about defining success for yourself. And one of the things for me that is really important, and I think for a lot of successful people as well, um, especially as they get older (laughs) and come to the end of their careers and the end of their endeavors and sort of they're getting older and reflecting back on life, is that there's a lot of thoughtfulness about legacy and how will the world remember me when I'm gone? Who have I impacted? What have I done that will live on after me? And the other thing that I have on my desk, it's a little, I think it's like a little stone, I guess. Um, And it, uh, there's a quote on the stone and it says, the life you live is the lesson you teach. And that also drives me because I'm always very aware that how I'm living is teaching other people Number one, how to treat me. Number two, what I stand for. Number three, what my values are, um, what's important. And it's also teaching other people wisdom, insight, knowledge, what have you. And so how you live your life and the life that you're living is the lesson that you're leaving behind for people. It is the legacy that you're leaving behind, as well as those tangible achievements that you also, you know, accomplish and those goals and all of that. But really the life you live is what people will remember. And even if you have tangible accomplishments that you're leaving behind, who you are is going to infiltrate those accomplishments and those achievements. And so you're still infusing who you are into that that is going to live on after you. And one of the most powerful things that you can do is to invest in other people. And we've talked about on the podcast, investing in yourself. And it's really powerful that once you've conquered some things in your life, that you pass on that knowledge, that wisdom, those skills, whatever it, ha- whatever you have that to offer, that you pass that on to someone else so that not only do you live on through your accomplishments and your achievements, but you live on through other people as well. Remember, we always talk about the ripple effect. And as you invest in other people, what's really interesting is that the more you give out, the more you gain, because as you pour out and invest in other people, you are elevating yourself in the process because you're continuing to get more information, get more knowledge, get more skills, get more ability so that you have that to pour out. And so it's this ever, it's this never ending upward loop that is just having a positive impact on the world. And how awesome is that? Like what an incredible place, you know, we could make this world if all of us had that focus and that viewpoint and that sort of, you know, walking through life, doing that, investing good in other people. It's extremely powerful when you invest in someone to get to another level in life because you have to be at a higher level to invest in them and to get to that level. (laughs) So I encourage you to really think about your legacy and really think about the impact that you're having and the power of investing in other people and being aware of the life that you're living and what you're teaching other people because someone is always watching you whether you realize it or not. And even if you don't have kids, people at your job, people in the grocery store, people at the gas station, 
People are always watching you and you're always teaching someone something. So be aware of that and, and be cognizant about, is this a positive thing that I'm teaching or is this sort of a not so positive thing that I'm teaching? Am I serving other people or, you know, am I, am I teaching them what not to do or how not to be? Because sometimes there's a lesson in that. So I encourage you to think about those things. And there is a um, free course. No, it's not free. Well, if you email me, it'll be free for you. I'll give you a coupon code. Um, but it's the Butterfly Impact. And it's all about you know, leaving a legacy and how to do that and the importance of it. And so if you email me at michelle at successfuldiligence.com or if you go to successfuldiligence.com and click on the contact tab and email me and mention, um, you know, coupon code for the Butterfly Impact course, I'll give you a coupon code that you can get it for free. Um, and it's all about, you know, sort of talking about legacy in a little bit more depth. So I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you are um, inspired to really think about the legacy that you're leaving here in life, that you're thinking about the lesson that you are teaching other people, that you are making the world a better place, that you are defining success for yourself so that you have that vision of what you're working towards, not just in the right now, but in the long term as well. What will live on after you leave the earth? How will people remember you? What do you want them to remember about you? How do you want your legacy to be um, imparted into other people? How do you want to be remembered? So again, I hope you found some value in this. As always, keep walking. And as you walk on your journey of life, as I always say, choose gratitude because gratitude will literally change your life. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is the easiest way for you to make a podcast. It's free. The creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. So easy to use. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so that it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more platforms. You don't have to upload. They do it all for you. You can also make money from your podcast, cha-ching, with no minimum listenership. I started making money with my first episode. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Just go to your app store and download the free Anchor app, or you can go to anchor.fm to get started now. Anchor FM and get your podcast started.